stops by. I have two young daughters. I, I want to keep them safe. A new Callaway County Jail might not be next to the Missouri School for the Deaf. Moving forward, the Airport Advisory Board's first meeting since its emergency shutdown. And it's draft day eve. We're live in Nashville with coverage of your Missouri Tigers here on KOMU 8 News at 10. Coverage you can count on. KOMU 8 News starts now. It's looking less likely tonight. Callaway County will build a new jail next to the Missouri School for the Deaf. Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Spain. And I'm Jim Reed. Thanks for joining us. KOMUH Jacob Caviani is here in the studio with what county leaders say is behind the change of heart. Well, Jim and Emily, the state is trying to get rid of a building on the school campus. The Missouri House of Representatives approved a bill that allows the state to sell the vacant Rice Hall. Callaway County was looking to possibly remodel the building into a jail. But the presiding commissioner says the potential cost savings aren't as big as first thought. Will Hoffman lives on 5th Street, right across from the Missouri School for the Deaf. Uh, I'm not for the uh, possibility of there being a jail here. He says he might have to move if the jail were to be built. It, it's just not the type of community I want to raise my kids in. The school stopped using Rice Hall in 2004 after enrollment dropped. By your vote of 106 yes and 43 no, you have third read and passed House Bill 1237 as amended. On Tuesday, the Missouri House passed a bill that allows the state to sell the building. Holt Summit Representative Travis Fitzwater sponsored the measure. I was approached by the Office of Administration. They said there's these properties we don't make use of them anymore it'd be good to convey them the organizer of a community meeting last week says she was not surprised the bill passed i wish though that there was more communication with the public uh because i think that this is something that affects a lot of people even if you know if the dis final decision hasn't been made yet at the meeting members of the deaf community shared their concerns those parents are going to say no way am i sending my kid there i can guarantee it the callaway county presiding commissioner says it's not looking likely the county will pursue the rice hall option and i'm not going to sit here and tell you that it, it that we're that it's totally out of the picture but i'm relatively confident in saying that uh, the county probably is not looking at uh, that piece of property nearly as well as we were at when we first looked at it. That's because of more than one reason. And fina financially is one of them. And, and there's other reasons that other people have that they don't want us to do it either. Back on 5th Street, Hoffman says he's made his voice heard. I've, I've signed the, the petition. And at this hour tonight, that change.org petition has more than 3,000 signatures. And the bill allowing the state to sell the property is on its way to the Senate. In the studio, Jacob Caviani, KMU 8 News. At his first meeting since the week-long shutdown of the Columbia Regional Airport due to a runway problem, airport commissioners congratulated city staffers for good work. Airlines suspended flights to the airport after the backup runway's drainage hump was too big for pilots' comfort. KOMU8's Nikki Ogle is live at the airport with more on the board's reaction. Nikki? The parking lot is packed full once again here at the Columbia Regional Airport, but it's not because of canceled flights. It's because passengers are taking flights in and out of the airport since workers fixed the runway bump. At the meeting today, the COU airport manager said that bump in the runway had been there since the 1960s, but had just become an issue when pilots had to start using it every day. One board member told me when he first heard the news of the bump, he figured it would be months before the airport reopened. It was actually about a week. They were able to take a situation that really looked dire, honestly, on Saturday and turned it into something that we were back up in operations within a week. And I think that it was important for me and some of the other people on the board to make sure that that was acknowledged and that we commend them for the efforts that they did. COU's airport manager told me he appreciates the support of the board on that project and ones to come. One of those would be right here in the parking lot. As I was driving in tonight, most cars were going straight to the overflow parking because spots near the terminal are full. The airport says it plans to use crushed concrete from the main runway to add 200 parking spots. Live at the Columbia Regional Airport, I'm Nikki Ogle, KOMU 8 News. KOMU 8 News broke the story when American Airlines and United temporarily suspended flights to and from COU on April 6th. The airport then officially closed on April 9th for a week to work on the runway. Flights resumed April 16th when United and American both added more flights to Chicago.
Well, it was an overcast day today, and temperatures held in the 50s for a lot of our morning and through much of our early afternoon in those middle 50s, right around 56 degrees to be specific. We did warm up into the middle 60s, though, this afternoon. And looking at our uh, live Doppler rate first alert radar, we, do ha we did have just a few showers that rolled through earlier today as well, especially Jefferson City getting just a little bit of rain, getting over towards Herman as well. That is now all since pushed down south of Interstate 44. And that's pretty much where it's going to stay is along that Interstate 44 corridor. Temperatures are still very warm tonight, though, mild ones. For us. We're still in the middle and upper 50s. That's where we're going to stay all night once again. But we have calm winds, and with that calm wind, we already have some fog developing. Already miles of visibility decreased. You only can see about five miles in Columbia, three in Jefferson City, and that fog is only going to increase by sunrise tomorrow morning. I'll continue the track on this, talk about more rain chances and warmer temps ahead. It's all coming up. All right, Kenton, thank you very much. A new bill making its way through the Missouri House could change the way you file your taxes. The bill would decrease the number of income tax brackets from nine down to just two. Under the proposal, the dividing line between the two different tax brackets would be $9,000 in adjusted gross income. The bill would not change the way you pay for taxes. The bill's sponsor, Representative Vic Adler, says he wants to simplify the process, hopefully to the point where you can just file your taxes on a postcard. You take a lot of uh, the political arguments related to, you know, what demographic a person should fall under or what, what, what wage category they should fall under to be under this rate. Uh, those arguments can get, can get divisive. And so by just setting two standard rates using the standard deduction, it takes motion and politics out of the tax equation. With just three weeks left in the legislative session, it is unlikely the bill will make it through this session, but the representative says he plans to bring it up again next session. Supporters of a Jefferson City Crisis Center walked in unconventional shoes this evening for a purpose. KOMU8's Claire Bradshaw is here in the studio to tell us why the walkers ditched their tennis shoes. Women and men were wearing heels like these at today's Walk for the Rape and Abuse Crisis Center. People walked in downtown Jefferson City to raise awareness about domestic violence and sexual assault. The fundraiser benefits the Crisis Center services. The heels represented what victims and survivors go through. Uh, the high heels, uh, this is something that's been going on for a number of years, probably more than a decade. Uh, but about four years ago, we, we shifted it around to say, you know, not just guys should walk. The, the idea of the heels was to show walking in their shoes. The group gave out awards after the event. The walk raised more than $23,000 for the center. In the studio, Claire Bradshaw, KOMU 8 News. Narcan is coming soon to the Fulton Fire Department. It's a medication that reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. The city council unanimously approved the idea last night. Before the department can use the drug, the city's 24 firefighters need to train how to use it. The fire chief calls Narcan a lifesaver. They get ex exposed to it um, out in the field, uh, and it, it affects them right away as well. So this, if, if we have Narcan on board, on board with us, we can administer it quickly and reverse the effects. The county's training director says Fulton is one of the last areas in Callaway to get Narcan for first responders. Other agencies in mid-Missouri that are using Narcan include the Columbia Police Department, Boone County Health, State Highway Patrol, and the Missouri Department of Transportation. A state lawmaker is trying to improve the quality of life of cancer survivors. Missourians had a chance to speak on Representative Jim Neely's proposed bills this afternoon. They would extend the cancer patient's health insurance coverage to include dental and fertility procedures. Last legislative session, Neely introduced the same bill to extend health care coverage for fertility procedures. However, it did not make its way out of the House Committee. Students at a St. Louis area high school got an unexpected day off today after a student drove an SUV into the school's main entrance. It happened at Francis House Central. When police arrived, they found the SUV inside the front door. Police say the driver was found walking away from the scene. He has since been released. With today's cancellation, ACT testing for juniors has been delayed. A tragic discovery in rural Illinois today. Police and federal agents uncovered the body of a missing five-year-old less than 10 miles from his home. It's been a full week since A.J. Friend was last seen and six days since his parents reported him missing. Investigators say the boy's parents led them to a shallow grave. They now face murder charges. Police say they confronted the parents with forensic cell phone data last night. A dress code policy at a Houston high school is stirring some controversy. The school set a dress code for, get this, 
parents after a mom says she was turned away while trying to register her daughter. The next day, the principals wrote a letter outlining a code for parents saying in part we must have high standards. Some of the banned items include bonnets, leggings, and pajama-like clothing. My child's education, anyone's child's education should be more important than what someone has on. That shouldn't matter. The school district declined to comment on the new parent dress code. A man was caught on camera trying to set a Muslim community center on fire in Austin, Texas. Investigators say he arrived at the center and stayed for about 20 minutes. The surveillance footage shows the suspect pouring liquid around the fence, then lighting a wad of paper on fire as he tried to ignite the fence. Last year, the same community center reported multiple incidents of vandalism, including slashed car tires and broken windows. Not quite Mizzou made, but pretty close. We'll show you what GP is up to. And here's a look at your five forecast for our day tomorrow. We're not expecting any delays in these locations. Temperatures are actually close to 80 degrees potentially in Kansas City, thanks to a little bit more sunshine there. We have chances for a little bit of rain this time tomorrow evening. Tracking that, plus our next weather maker coming up. And we are live in Nashville on the eve of the NFL draft. It's not exactly Missouri. So coming up in sports, all the story of one athlete's rocky path from Kansas City to Nashville. Coming up tomorrow on KOMU 8 News Today. To mark the 100th session of the Missouri General Assembly, Vietnam-era veterans and their families will be recognized. Plus, multiple Midwest branches of the American Red Cross are sounding the alarm. That's the name of its spring campaign. Any traffic slowdowns, we'll let you know from the Right Now desk. And all of your forecast for an upcoming Thursday. Great days begin with great mornings. KOMU 8 News Today. Coverage you can count on. Save at the Dream Suite Experience at Slumberland, the ultimate place to test drive a mattress. Our 120-night comfort guarantee means you can rest easy. Get the Sealy Gel Memory Foam Mattress, just $3.96. Our lowest price ever. Slumberland. Two mid-Missouri locations, on the lot or anytime online. Show Markins Ford. Browse our inventory. Get pre-approved. Receive an appraisal for your trade-in. Right now, get a 2019 Fusion or Escape loaded. Your choice, only $18,882. Or get $12,000 in total savings on the Ford F-150, America's best-selling truck. All the savings, all the selection, all in one place. All roads lead to Joe Mockins Ford. The epic seven-day sale is on now at Furniture Row. And when we say it's epic, we mean epic. Shop today and find epic savings on sofas, sectionals, and accent chairs. Epic markdowns on dining groups, tables, and bar stools. Epic deals on bed sets, dressers, mattresses, and adjustable bases. Plus, 72 months no interest financing. That's no interest until April 2025. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The epic seven-day sale, only at Furniture Row. The sun is shining, birds are chirping, and our Silverado and Sierra season just went from good to great. The all-new 2019 redesigned Chevy Silverado is hot, hot, and you can get up to 25% below MSRP. The all-new GMC Sierra Denali truck with over $14,800 in total value savings at Bob McKay. Find new roads to number one business loop, Columbia. Chevrolet makes the truck, Bob McKay makes the difference. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. Chevy Truck Month continues with 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado. Or this deal gets stronger. Current competitive owners get a total value of over $9,500 when financing with GM Financial. At Slumberland, we've got the styles for all your memories with our low-price guarantee. Plus, right now, during our spring savings sale, get up to 65% off throughout the store on your favorite things. Get a little messy and always go for the memories. Slumberland, it's a good life. Never be surprised by the weather. Download the free KOMU8 weather and traffic app. Brought to you by Central Bank of Boone County. Welcome back. Former Mizzou head football coach Gary Pinkle announced a new foundation today. He's calling it the GP Made Foundation. It's centered on providing support and research for youth facing lymphoma and leukemia. 
foundation also helps young people facing economic and social challenges through mentoring and scholarships. Pegel says he's at a point in life where he wants to give back to the community. I miss coaching and I miss game day, but I really miss taking care of my players. Yeah, and I had 127 players for 39 years, on, and, and uh, believe it or not, uh, uh, I got a chance now to help kids, and we're going to focus on a couple different things to help them. Eagles Foundation will hold its inaugural golf tournament on June, June 24th at the Old Hawthorne Golf Course in Columbia. Good for GP. The Missouri River Relief Organization christened the new boat today. The group says the new boat has a, will offer opportunities for more schools to get involved. Missouri River Days gives Columbia students a chance to learn through hands-on experience about the river. The kids got the opportunity to go out on the water, many for the very first time. The new boat has a longer platform, which makes it easier for students with special needs or disabilities to get on and off. When we have students that have uh, special needs, then this boat works perfect. With news of the new boat, the group hopes more school districts get involved. All right, here's a look at a time lapse from Jefferson City today. You can see we did start off with a little bit of rain out there early today. Uh, and then we did see temperatures finally reach up into the 60s, or at least felt that at least. And it was cloudy pretty much all day long. And now temperatures are cooling slowly into the 50s. And we have the cloud cover that's going to stick around all night. Now, average high temperature for this time of year, we're getting close to the end of April now. It's around 70 degrees for the climatological average, 73 on Saturday for our high temperature. We're down to 64 on Sunday. We'll be a cooler end to the week. We have another cold front that's going to roll through. But we are going to be on another warming trend back into seasonal conditions by Monday. But Monday starts not only a seasonal week for us, it's going to feel very spring-like next week because not only temperatures, but multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms expected there, too. Here's a look at current satellite and radar. This is our setup. We have the stationary boundary, and it is certainly stationary. It is not moving much at all. It hasn't moved much in the past 24 hours, actually. It's still raining over the boot heel, and it's going to continue raining there even tomorrow morning as well here. Uh, we do have some clearer sky getting into the other half of Missouri. Meanwhile, we're waiting on our next immediate weather maker. That's actually rolling here by about the next 24 hours. By this time tomorrow, it's going to be moving overhead. The next cold front will be that's getting into Nebraska at this point, and it is going to give us a chance for some rain as well some passing showers you can see there's some moisture associated with that too so that's heading our direction but first we're dealing with this extra cloud cover here that's moving in from the south but even some clear sky as well and the mixture of that clear sky and cloud cover is going to be one of the determining factors on how much fog we end up with overnight because one thing we like to see for fog formation is clearer sky so the cloud cover not helping too much we have some more clouds that are rolling in but we also certainly need calm winds and we need moisture in the ground which we already have you can feel the humidity in the air Air. It's definitely humid out there, but uh, the fog is already starting to form up. This is a look at our miles of visibility. You can only see five miles in Colombia, two miles in Mexico, three miles there in the capital city. And if we look at this hour by hour, there's a chance that we do have some dense fog in some areas tomorrow morning, and uh, especially in those low-lying areas, patchy fog elsewhere. So something you might want to give yourself some extra time on the roads tomorrow morning just so you can take it slow, make sure you're uh, uh, prepared for that. Otherwise. Tomorrow afternoon, we're still looking at the stationary boundary, still actually over southeastern Missouri, giving some rain showers for that I-44 corridor and areas to the south of there. So Mary's County could still be seeing some rain tomorrow, actually. But the rest of us are going to start to see some sunshine move in before that cold front gets here. Again, that's tomorrow evening. More showers are expected to roll through. It's not going to dump a lot of rain, but we are expecting a bit of rain to fall tomorrow evening. Then it clears out pretty quickly after that. And then we're going to be looking at quite a bit of sunshine here for the rest of our day on Friday. It's going to be a sunny one after what's been a pretty dreary week for us. So it's going to be nice to end the week at least with some sunshine. And then as we head into Saturday, more clouds roll in and we have more rain chances as well. Just another one here. And it's mainly only for Saturday morning though. Actually the rest of the day on Saturday, especially as we head into the afternoon, looks pretty sunny for us. So not bad. And then we're actually going to just have a mix of sunshine and cloud cover for our day on Sunday as well. Remember the difference is though Sunday has a chance to be a little cooler actually so highs only in the 60s there but then as we head into monday this is monday our next system's rolling in more rain again and that's pretty much going to be the story all next week temperatures around 70 and multiple chances for rain that was monday this is tuesday you can see our next shot of moisture rolling in and that's going to continue likely at least through thursday at this point so chances every day monday through thursday of next week's four passing showers and some thunderstorms mixed in with that as well not raining the whole time but we are going to have multiple rounds that we'll be tracking all next week, so be sure to stay with us for that. 54 degrees for our low temperature tonight, calm winds as well, cloudy at times, but also 
foggy as well as that's starting to develop already. 70 for our high temperature tomorrow. Not bad. It's seasonal. North winds about 3 to 15 miles per hour. Could see some peaks of sunshine depending on where you're living again, especially northwestern Missouri, seeing a bit more sunshine. 69 then on Friday with a lot of sunshine expected there. Lows only in the 50s on Saturday morning. We're at 73 on Saturday with that rain in the morning, but then more sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s there. We're at 64 on Sunday with a mix of sunshine and cloud cover. And then next week, multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the 60s and 70s. Lows mainly in the 50s. Stay with us. Okay, Kenton, thank you very much. A potential wind farm is causing the Boone County Commission to act quickly. Why they have to make changes. That's coming up. Plus your lottery numbers. Good luck. The Epic 7-Day Sale is on now at Furniture Row. You'll find epic savings store-wide, plus 72 months no interest financing. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The Epic 7-Day Sale, only at Furniture Row. It can haul over 3,200 pounds. It can even tow more than any pickup in its class. And it practically parks itself. Now, after all that hard work, a nice night on the town seems in order, don't you? Now get an F-150 at up to 20% below MSRP. That's over 10500 in total savings. Only at your quality Ford dealers. This week, you can love where you live with big spring savings at Missouri Furniture Mattresses and Appliances. Save to 40% with $100 off every $9.99 you spend, plus up to 36 months special financing. Don't compromise, customize with custom order sofas starting at $6.99. Save on appliance hot buys from the best brands with the guaranteed best price. See our wide selection of outdoor furniture. Big spring savings to 40% at all Missouri Furniture locations. Better quality, best price guaranteed. It takes a Titan to take the road less traveled. It takes a Titan to make towing look easy. It takes a Titan from Joe Mockins Nissan. While they last, get an in-stock 2018 Nissan Titan with up to $13,500 in total savings. Designed, engineered, and powered in America. All backed by America's best truck warranty. Or choose a Nissan Rogue loaded with safety features and save up to $4,000. All roads lead to Joe Mockins Nissan. Anytime at JoeMockinsNissan.com. Hey folks, Jerry and Alec, Continental Siding. It's time for a good spring cleaning. We've got siding too short to be seamless, but too long to be recycled. So we're having a seams on the back of the house sale. If we can use our shorter pieces of siding on the back of your home to make a few seams, we'll make the front and two sides totally seamless. It's almost like getting the back done free. This won't last long, so click or call now. It's not over yet. The Ram 1500 has built to haul the big loads. And now you can get a Ram 1500 crew cab for only $29,987. Don't need a truck? Then take a turn in a Jeep. Right now, a new Jeep Renegade is only $59,99. Don't miss these great deals and more. All roads lead to Joe Mockins Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and JoeMockinsCDJR.com. It seems like with life, there's never a dull moment. When it comes to sleep, we don't always get the best rest. Find the cozy comfort, quality, and affordability of the Aspen Collection. All packed in a convenient box. Exclusively at Denver Mattress. The First Alert Weather Cam is brought to you by the law firm of Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. We will fight for you. Welcome back. A potential wind farm in Boone County is forcing the Planning and Zoning Commission to make regulations where there currently aren't any. Today, the commission worked on defining terms. One opponent to wind farms in mid-Missouri brought yard signs to pass out to her neighbors to the public work session. The signs are already a fixture along Route E. The concerned citizen says she moved to Harrisburg to quietly retire but may be forced to move away. I used to love it. I thought, oh, this is great. This will save the planet, wind and solar energy. But I didn't realize now that I find out what they are. They're very destructive technology. The county's director of resource management says there isn't a timeline for when the commission will approve the rules and regulations. This is NFL Draft Eve. We've got a live report from Nashville coming up next. 
At Columbia Honda, we recognize how powerful, incredible customer service can be. Yes, it's little things. A friendly smile, prompt answers, snacks, and a comfy chair. It's things that are just, well, common sense. Respect, honesty, and a huge selection of awesome cars. But we know that all those little things, the obvious things, and the revolutionary things help you do the amazing things. Welcome to a car buying revolution. Genuine kindness. Columbia Honda. When you think about what matters most, you don't think about things. You think about people. And so do we. At First State Community Bank, we're not interested in being the biggest bank around. We're interested in bringing together the best people. Because we know the difference it makes for you to feel good about working with someone and to know they have your back. Success means something different to everyone. Let us help you achieve yours. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. At Menards, nobody beats our prices, so you can save on all your projects. If you're serious about tool storage, then choose Masterforce. This tool test and cabinet combo offers 33% more storage than traditional 18-inch tool cabinets. $698. Nobody beats our selection of ideal garage doors. This 9x7 white designer series garage door is $599.99. This 16x7 garage door is $1,049.99. Plus, a Menards gift card is perfect for Mother's Day. Save big money at Menards. The Financial News is brought to you by Downtown Appliance Home Center, providing appliances and personal service to Mid-Missouri for over 50 years. Joe Mockins Mazda is stocked with high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Fact. Now is your chance to buy a like-new vehicle at a fraction of the price. Fact. Financing pre-approval is guaranteed. Choose from nearly every make and model. 2014 and newer vehicles starting under $10,000. Come in for a test drive and save 50% on an oil change. You're going to save big. That's a fact. All roads lead to Joe Mockins Mazda and JoeMockinsMazda.com. When we build furniture, we build it to last. This furniture is an heirloom, and it's meant to be loved and used and then passed down to the next generation. Every single piece of furniture in our collection is designed right here in our hometown of Laurel, Mississippi, and then it's built here in the United States by over 600 men and women in Virginia. We're incredibly proud of this furniture, and we just can't wait for you to experience it in your own home. LM Co. Home and Scotsman American Heirloom, available exclusively at Farm Gardeners Furniture. Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU8 Sports. How's it going? Edward Rudler filling in for Chris. Tomorrow is a big day for our former Missouri quarterback, Drew Locke. He's expected to be chosen in the first round of the NFL Draft in Nashville. Kemp there live to chronicle his journey from, the, from Missouri to the NFL. Matt. Hey, good evening, Edward. Drew Locke has gone from a can't-miss Kansas City prospect to a virtual lock as a first-round draft pick, but his journey to stardom has been more rocky road than it has smooth sailing. The quickest way from Columbia to Nashville starts on Interstate 70. It's a fairly straight road, but one of the men who is traveling that path has taken a more winding route. A Lee's Summit native, Drew Locke's Mizzou journey, two hours down the road in my own backyard, was paved by tigers. He is, after all, a true son of a true son. Drew's father played here, like Drew's grandfather before him. You know, you grow up, you know, all you cheer for is the tigers growing up, and you get the opportunity to play there for four years. Locke's freshman year saw him prematurely thrust into the spotlight. There were a few bright spots. 78 yards! on the touchdown and the first of the freshman's career but plenty of blemishes he was an unprepared driver of an unsteady program you can't can't ride the roller coaster of college football i did that my freshman year and it was uh it was rough for me like emotionally and you know mentally and a little bit physically too 2016 brought a rookie head coach and the tigers first back-to-back -back losing season since 2002 another twist in the road for the once highly touted recruit the road straightened out during Locke's junior season. He shot up the Mizzou record books with 44 touchdown passes. That's the new SEC record, and he extends the Missouri record to 41. 2018 brought a more precise and polished quarterback, and eight wins, his most as a Tiger. I think that's been the coolest part about my experience here. 
um, being able to battle, battle back from some rough times. Some people looked very negatively on you know, our university, the place that we loved, um, and the place that we played every Saturday for. National championships and Heisman trophies often define top NFL quarterback prospects. Drew Locke's journey hasn't gone that smoothly, but now he waits, just like the rest of them, for their name to be called, their dream fulfilled. It's uncertain how long Drew Locke will wait to hear his name Thursday night, but whichever way he goes, his path to the NFL will soon be cemented. The draft begins tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Drew Locke has been projected anywhere from 4th to 31st, so we don't really know where he'll go, but either way, we will be here live all night tomorrow night. But for now, reporting live in downtown Nashville, Matthew Judy, KMU8 Sports. Matt, thank you. To the Diamond now, where the Cardinals and Brewers have got to be sick of each other by now. The division rivals played this afternoon for the 10th time already this season, less than a month in. St. Louis aiming for a sweep this afternoon of the Brew Crew. Fourth inning, Marcelo Zuna goes yard with two men on. His ninth homer of the season gives the Redbirds a 3-1 to one lead. And they would not look back. Two batters later, Yadier Molina makes it 4-1. to one. He's been a thorn in Milwaukee side for over a decade, up and out into the Brewer bullpen. The Cardinals sweep the Brewers 5-2. to two. They won't meet again until August. The Royals tried salvaging a game this afternoon against the Rays from the Trop. Tied in the third, Whit Merrifield changes that with one swing, an absolute no-doubter. The left fielder doesn't even move, and the Royals take the lead on his fourth homer of the season. The score was 5-1 to one in the sixth inning. Two men on for Ed Alberto. Mondesi and Heat had twos this ball to nearly the same spot as well. Those two have been fantastic. The season at the top of the order, they propel KC to an easy win, 10-2. Senior night for Mexico baseball hosting battle. Top five battle down 2-1 until Karsten Fewell solo shot to right to tie the score. The Spartans were down one and on their last strike, but Fewell ties the game again, and the battle rally is on. They would continue Keaton Briggs, the go-ahead run here, and the Spartans spoil senior night, 7-3 the final. And before you go, Columbia College announced James Arnold as the new athletic director today. He'll take over at the start of May. He has large shoes to fill, replacing Bob Bercher after 31 seasons. That's two mid-Missouri locations, on the lot or anytime online. Show Markins Ford, browse our inventory, get pre-approved, receive an appraisal for your trade-in. Right now, get a 2019 Fusion or Escape loaded. Your choice, only $18,882. Or get $12,000 in total savings on the Ford F-150, America's best-selling truck. All the savings, all the selection, all in one place. All roads lead to Joe Mockins Ford. The 2019 Ford Escape was built for the Midwest, with everything you want built right in. Want your choice of powerful and efficient EcoBoost engines? You got it. Want capability like towing or intelligent four-wheel drive? Sure thing. What about smart features for added convenience and connectivity? All in there. Get a Ford Escape at up to 20% below MSRP. That's up to 4900 in total savings. Only at your quality Ford dealers. The KOMU8 iPhone and Android News app is brought to you by State Tech. Download in the App Store or Google Play. More epic than wingsuiting the Alps. More epic than diving with great whites. More epic than Brandon moving out of the basement. It's the epic seven-day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, get a free $300 Furniture Oak gift certificate when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Or try the Madison Flush or Firm, only $699.99. And check out the Summit Queen, only $199.99. Plus 72 months, no interest financing. The epic seven-day sale, only at Denver Mattress. At Columbia Honda, we recognize how powerful, incredible customer service can be. Yes, it's little things. A friendly smile, prompt answers, snacks, and a comfy chair. It's things that are just, well, common sense. Respect, honesty, and a huge selection of awesome cars. But we know that all those little things, the obvious things, and the revolutionary things, help you do the amazing things. Welcome to a car buying revolution. Genuine kindness. Columbia Honda. 
Well, as you can see here, our visibility is already decreasing here across mid-Missouri as fog continues to develop. Otherwise, temperatures in the middle 50s around sunrise, and then will be around 70 tomorrow afternoon. A chance for some rain showers actually tomorrow evening. All right, drive carefully. Yes, definitely. That is our time for now. Thanks for joining Have us. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. On air, online, on Facebook, on Twitter, on the News app, and the Weather app. KOMU 8 News. Coverage you can count on. Thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you for being here. You guys, I'm very excited about this. Brie Larson is on the show tonight. We, we love Brie Larson. Uh, she's here to finally try and get the word out about this movie called Avengers Endgame. I don't know if you guys heard it coming up. Try to get the word out of it. That's right, Captain Marvel herself, Brie Larson, is here. Wyatt Cenac is here. And... We have music from Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> yep, uh, Bree thought there were a lot of Avengers until she got here and met the 50 members of Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> but the new Avengers opens tomorrow, and it's